here on this channel please go ahead and subscribe and make sure you click that bell notification option to be the first to get notifications on my new video uploads now recently i took a trip to bnm which is a home store that resides here within the uk and i managed to pick up well a fair bit of goodman's tech so today i'm excited to be trying out this goodman's predator pro gaming headset they do retail around 20 pounds that's around 25 in us dollars Outside the box, there is an initial image of the Predator headset. You can get a better view of these headphones from behind the magnetic door flap through the clear window. This Goodman's headset has features listed to the front, such as stereo sound, built-in LED multicolor lights, and this pro gaming headset is compatible with PS4, Switch, PC laptop, mobile phone, and Xbox, although an adapter may or may not be needed with regards to which Xbox you may own. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There is a short introduction to the Goodman's brand just to the side, and well, let's go ahead and let's delve inside. Inside the box, everything comes protected. We have some very well detailed Goodman's headset user guides with the usual guarantee, and there is a wire adapter for use with PC and laptop connection. Looking at the headset, these Goodman's Pro headphones are amazingly super light. They do have a very professional look about them. The main colour of the ABS plastic is in matte black, and there is this stunning looking double chrome edge detail surrounding that LED grill. Wow! The driver units have some protein cushion ear pads fitted. The inner headband also has the same protein padding, which comes in the colour of blue, along with the inner and outer ear cup lining. To the left hand driver, there is a retractable microphone, which is thick and feels real sturdy. The headband does adjust somewhat for larger size heads. It has good flexibility when flexing, and at the end of this extra long thick braided cable, we have a solid volume control wheel, a mute button, a 3.5mm port and a USB port for those side LED lights. And may I say, what lights they are, they look fantastic, changing through those 8 LED light shades. That Goodman's logo really stands out. Putting this Goodman's Predator headset on, right away they was reasonably comfortable. Definitely not noise cancelling, but ear cups did sit just around my ears without no limitations. Although they didn't sit that secure to my head with harsh movements, I must say that the microphone, adjusting to that 120 degrees, did give me a good distance from my mouth to the mic. Here's an example of that during gameplay. Right, so guys, what we've got here today is what remains of Edith Finch. And I must say I love the graphics. Okay, so we're not here for the game, here for the surround sound. So right away, you can actually hear the water from the left side in this little river. Frog is around here somewhere. So the surround sound's working pretty good. Hopefully the microphone is working good too. Let's go over this bridge. We're not going to bother looking for anything. The woods around the house have always been uncomfortably silent. As if they're about to say something but never do. Yeah. The house Yo. Was exactly like I remembered it. Do you know what? I've always wanted to play this game. I thought I'd give it a download today, especially for this headphone set test. So yeah, guys, hopefully the voice is sounding pretty good on this microphone. I have had some cheap, proper cheap gaming headsets before, costing around about twelve ninety nine, and the As microphone a child, was dial. The house made me uncomfortable. And hey, man, I'm feeling uncomfortable. Who designed this, man? Look at that. It's cozy, though. Yeah. Go inside. So this is my first time playing this game. It's been out for a few years, and I think it got an award. Now, as a 17-year-old, I knew exactly what those words were. What? I was Get out. Of the house. I hope yeah. the key might unlock the front door. No, it didn't. Cheers. Go through the letterbox, G. Looking in, I felt like the house itself had been waiting Stand for a me. stair lift! Jeffy chased his car out of the uh, National Lampoon's vacation with the wood panelling on the side. When did that ever come into fashion? I felt like I was home. <sighs> I tell you what, if you are home, you need to clean up, love. Dirty. Do you know what, guys? I'm not going to leave it there. It's supposed to be short and sweet. But hopefully. Oh, Woo! Great grandpa's yeah, 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 yeah,
just to the rear of me, which is pretty good. So I'm going to leave it there, guys, and hopefully this microphone test might give you a good idea of actually how the audio sounds. And I'm just going to get myself a cup of tea, and I'll catch you later. Right, where's the kettle at? Testing this headset over three days, I've got to say that I did indeed have vivid surround sound. Although not super loud, the sound clarity was great. Bass was not that powerful though, but while playing a number of games, in-game explosions were pretty good. I tested this headset during music playback, and it came in with a low bass rating of 25Hz, and a treble high of 15,059Hz, which isn't too bad. Like I mentioned, the directional sound was good, you can indeed hear the bullet shot directions, and at distance explosions, so yeah, polarity between both drivers was spot on. Microphone quality was awesome too, very accurate and clear without no sound interference, although at very very high levels you do get a slight bit of distortion. I think in truth this headset is just okay for the price, alright for the price you could probably get the Onikuma Key 5 Pros, which to me is my preferred option, but these Goodman's Predators, for the price you're paying, I think they're just about level with what you really would expect within that low budget headset category. One thing I will add is that when playing music, sound was good, but again that audio was just a bit too low for my liking. Bass was just hollow, with no real, you know, thumps. Not the best for music, but gaming, not in my top 5, but I'd say definitely worth a buy. They certainly look good, and they definitely give you that professional look. And I think if I was going to rate this Goodman's Predator Pro headset out of my usual rating out of 10, then today I think I've got to give these a... 7 out of 10. I will go ahead guys and leave the link for this headset in the video description down below along with some suggested headsets. Go and check them out and go get yours. And while you're there guys, please go ahead and share this video wherever possible. Smash that like button. Subscribe. Making sure you hit that bell notification option so you guys stay updated on all my new uploads. I'll see you guys over on my new video coming real soon, stay tuned for that, and well, thanks for watching. Peace!